How y'all feeling today? Y'all back, y'all back. Being there, Charlie TV. You did, you did, you did. Hit that like and subscribe button for me, man. You did what I'm talking about? Let's talk about it, man. I was watching this this interview, right? And it was it, um, the young lady was talking about a uh, black man dating uh, white girls or whatever that case, and they're getting tired of black women or you know stuff like that stuff i hear all the time when i used to work in construction and different stuff you know what i'm saying but i always say this man in every race there's somebody that will meet your needs and expectation you feel what i'm saying you dating this white individual just to be dating them and then you bringing in that negative energy that might come from that individual because you're just dating just because of his skin color that's just it's it's blasphemy and it's crazy you know what I'm saying? That's how you end up in a... It's like she was just talking about. She just was saying, right, you you, you, you with this white girl, she don't understand Black Lives Matter. You feel me? They don't understand the passion that you have for Colin Kaepernick when you take that knee. She will never understand it because she's not black. <laughs> you know what I mean? No matter how much you try to tell her the struggles that a black person go through, she has never experienced it. She never know nothing about that. You feel me? That's like trying to ask a white person about... 300 years of slavery or their ancestors or whatever like how did that how did that feel it's like they can't answer that question for you you know what i'm saying they don't understand that stuff that you're talking about the passion that you feel about the racism thing they don't get it they'll never understand that They're because they have never been in bondage like that you feel what i'm saying and i know a lot of people gonna do the hitler and the jewish and we, we know that type of, we know that story. They ain't been in 300 years of slaves like black people. Come on, now. Stop it, man. Let's just stop it, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just foolish, man. You know how people try to spin everything around. But long story short, man, she basically saying the concept is you're going to get with a person that's not understanding your struggle, don't understand your passion about the black culture, and you marrying and going into a culture with a person that... You might get with a person that don't care about that at all. And you passionate about it. Nah, they're not going to be killing us on the street and this and that. They're not going to be doing that. I'm going out there with the Black Lives Matter and stuff that that nature. And she's like, I'm not going out there. What am I going out there for? You feel me? That's what she's saying. Like, you getting with somebody just because of the color of their skin. And they don't really represent or, or stand for anything that's in the black culture. Like how can you be with somebody that don't stand for nothing in the black culture? All they care about is they suck. It's like I was having a conversation with a friend before. And then we have a conversation as we talking. Of course, he dated a white girl or he with a white girl or whatever. Okay, that's cool. But you are the only black person that she's deal with, which shows you she do not like black people. Donald, what was it? Donald Sterling, the, the NBA Clippers owner that used to be on the Clippers. Yes, he was having sex with black women, but he did not like black people at all. You know what I'm saying? Just because a white person having sex with a black person don't mean they like them. They hate their whole culture. They just like having sex with that person. It's a sexual thing. You ever know? Let's break it down so people can understand what I'm saying. Somebody having sex with somebody that don't really like them. We see that in the community all the time. It's common sense. They having sex with them because they're sex good, but they cannot stand this individual as a person. That's how some of these white people are. They don't have no black friends. They don't talk to anybody that's black. They don't like being around black people. Bro, sis, they don't really like black people. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's right there. They don't hang with black people. They don't talk to black people. They don't involve themselves with anybody that's black. But the only person that they mess with is black is you. That's it. They hate the whole culture. You don't even chill with your family or anything no more. They don't even like them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just being real, man. But this being that child, I'm just talking about like talking. You dig? You dig? I love y'all, man. Y'all hit that like and subscribe button. Have a wonderful and blessed day.